Good morning, everyone. It's nice to be back. <laughs> the Mass intentions for this morning are for Pope Francis, all bishops and priests, for our families, friends, and benefactors, for those recommended to our prayers, especially the poor, the sick, and the suffering, the dying, for the repose of the soul of Monsignor Adileto Abela, for Ponciana Pelez, and for the souls in purgatory, the conversion of sinners, and the reign of God's kingdom on earth. We have the votive mass of Saint Joseph. Behold a faithful and prudent steward, whom the Lord set over his household. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. And with your spirit. Let us begin by giving thanks for the gift of forgiveness and for a deeply purified heart that we may hear his word and keep it. You are sent to heal the contrite of heart. Kyrie eleison. You came to call sinners. Christe eleison. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Kyrie eleison. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us these sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who in your inexpressible providence were pleased to choose Joseph as spouse of the most holy mother of your son, grant, we pray, that we who revere him as our protector on earth, may be worthy of his heavenly intercession through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Children, obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right. Honor your father and mother. This is the first commandment with a promise, that it may be well with you and that you may live long on the earth. Fathers, do not provoke your children to anger, but bring them up in the discipline and instruction of the Lord. Slaves, be obedient to those who are your earthly masters with fear and trembling and singleness of heart as to Christ, not in the way of eye service as men pleasers, but as servants of Christ, doing the will of God from the heart, rendering service with a good will as to the Lord and not to men, knowing that whatever good anyone does, he will receive the same again from the Lord, whether he is a slave or free. Masters do the same to them and forbear threatening, knowing that he who is both their master and yours is in heaven and that there is no partiality with him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord is faithful in all his words. The Lord is faithful in all his words. All your works shall thank you, O Lord, and all your faithful ones bless you. They shall speak of the glory of your reign and declare your mighty deeds. The Lord is faithful in all his words. They shall make known your might to the children of men 
and the glorious splendor of your reign. Your kingdom is an everlasting kingdom. Your rule endures for all generations. The Lord is faithful in all his words. The Lord is faithful in all his words and holy in all his deeds. The Lord supports all who fall and raises up all who are bowed down. The Lord is faithful in all his words. Alleluia. Alleluia. God has called us through the gospel to obtain the glory of our Lord Jesus Christ. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you. Jesus went on his way through towns and villages, teaching and journeying towards Jerusalem. And someone said to him, Lord, Will those who are saved be few? And he said to them, Strive to enter by the narrow door, for many, I tell you, will seek to enter, but will not be able. When once the householder has risen up and shut the door, you will begin to stand outside and to knock at the door, saying, Lord, open to us. He will answer you, I do not know where you come from. Then you will begin to say, we ate and drank in your presence, and you taught in our streets. But he will say, I tell you, I do not know where you come from. Depart from me, all you workers of iniquity. There you will weep and gnash your teeth, when you see Abraham and Isaac and Jacob and all the prophets in the kingdom of God and you yourselves thrust out. And people will come from east and west, from north and south, to sit at table in the kingdom of God. And behold, some who are last will be first, and some our first, who will be last. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus. Well, I'm very pleased to be back, not least because I would have had to tackle this Gospel with the children from the school who come to Mass, different classes each day, and how to explain all this speaking about um, those who, how many will be saved, how many will be lost, and what does it mean about being locked out? Not that it's any easier to explain to grown-ups, but the children are insistent with their questions and their curiosity. And there is a natural curiosity in all of us, a good thing, a gift from God to help us explore our world and then hopefully manage it in some way. But there are so many questions uh, that are hanging in the air. And like all God's gifts, curiosity can be twisted a bit. Sometimes curiosity can be used to trap people, to trap Jesus in his speech. Or curiosity can be used to ridicule. Oh, you don't really mean blah, blah, blah. We have a an argument in philosophy called a reductio ad absurdum, that is making a person feel so stupid by asking certain questions that it is reduced to an absurdity. Of course, 
some questionings can be neurotic and unhealthy, a curiosity of purely selfish preoccupations. Uh, another example of this curiosity that Jesus doesn't encourage is uh, the question of his second coming, the question of the end of the world. He never gives answers to these kind of questions. And he doesn't give an answer to this question asked of him along the road. Because he wants to lead the people who query and ask these sort of questions to find the right question, it would seem that he would consider this as a kind of false question or an unhelpful question. He wants to go deeper to a, what you might call an existential question. It's not just curiosity. These things are deeply serious and affect our lives. And so Jesus is trying to get the people who question like this to look not at this curiosity to be titivated, but at how we live our lives. To look at our choices we make and whether we consider the consequences of them. To look at what we call today our fundamental option. In fact, in the end, Jesus is encouraging us, yes, to be curious about what really matters. To be curious about Jesus himself. Be curious about his way and his truth and his revelation and his life. We find it elsewhere in the scriptures in the New Testament. Keep your eyes fixed on Jesus. There will be so many curiosities and curious people claiming this, that and the other. We have to keep our eyes fixed on Jesus. But he does give us a hint. We will come across some big surprises. People who consider themselves first may well end up at the end of the queue, if in the queue at all. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. For through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, 
<coughs> and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. So let us pray that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name. As we prepare to offer the sacrifice of praise, O Holy Father, we humbly ask to be sustained in our service by the prayers of Saint Joseph whom you call to watch like a father on earth over your only begotten Son, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift up the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. And in honouring Saint Joseph, to give you fitting praise, to glorify you and bless you. For this just man was given by you, as spouse to the Virgin Mother of God, and set as a wise and faithful servant in charge of your household, to watch like a father over your only begotten Son, who was conceived by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, our Lord Jesus Christ. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exultation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord God of hosts. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them, like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Stephen, our bishop, Sylvester, his auxiliary, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your faith. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. As Jesus taught us, so we have the courage to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, 
but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. <coughs> the body of Christ. The body of Christ. Body. The body of Christ. Um. 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 The body of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ.
Well done, good and faithful servant. Come and share your master's joy. Let us pray. Restored by these life-giving sacraments, O Lord, may we live for you always in holiness and justice, helped by the example and intercession of Saint Joseph, who in carrying out your great mysteries served you as a man just and obedient. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Mass is ended. Go in peace. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in the day of battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly host, <coughs> thrust into hell Satan and the evil spirits, Amen.